Hello, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'm gonna be fitting forward controls to this Harley. Cue the intro. So as you've all seen, Alan's got the new bike for the channel, uh, his Harley Sportster. Um, Unfortunately, at the minute, it's just got mid controls, which is a pretty wet, rubbish way to ride a Harley. You don't want to be riding the Harley with your feet down his side there, do you? You've got to be, you've got to be out. So you've got to have your legs out and your arms up and look cool. So to do that on a Sportster, you've got to move the controls forward. So we're fit, going to be fitting, or I'm going to be fitting, forward controls. Um, so at the minute, if we can see, down here, we have the brake lever. Uh, the gear lever is obviously the same on the other side, um, but we want to move that to here. So when you ride along, your legs stretched out and you look cool and you feel more comfortable. So we'll go through what we've got. We'll have a quick look at what's in the kit and then we'll do a little bit of a how-to on how to fit it all. So this is the box that Alan's brought around with all his bits in. Purchased this where he purchased all of his crap stuff, I mean good stuff from, from eBay. I think this was about 180 quid, something like that. Probably be a link in the description for it. He popped it around the other day thinking, he said, oh, it's only gonna be a bolt on job. It's gonna take us half an hour. But after looking at it a bit more, we realized it wasn't. So he's kind of left the bike here and we decided to do a little how-to video on how to fit these. So nice shiny black anodized parts. They look pretty cool. Um, all the nuts and bolts and everything to go with it. There's some instructions there on how they assemble, but it doesn't show you how it, how it actually how to fit it to the bike. So we thought we'd do a bit of a how-to on how to, how to do it. So in here, these are two engine these are two plates okay we've got the uh that's the gear linkage bar that is the brake that's the extension for the brake okay so bits that we've got to got to take off okay so this cover's got to come off to take this lot off we've got to in here, I'll try and show these a bit more in detail in a minute, but they're the engine plates. They hold the engine to the frame, and they're the new ones that are in, in the box, so we've got to try and change those over. So what we'll do in a minute is we'll start off, we'll set the camera up, probably time lapse it, and we'll take these plates out and replace it with these, and then we'll assemble everything from there and see how we get on. Okay, so this is the uh, engine plate here that we're gonna take off. Um, there's one either side, the other side you can't see it quite as well on camera, so I thought I'd show this side. And what we're going to do is replace it with this one out of the pack. So what I'm going to do is replace both of these um, and then build up the foot pegs from there. So I don't think, we won't time lapse that, we might time lapse something in a bit, in a bit but I'm, what I'm going to do is unbolt these, get these, engine, these plates swapped over and then we'll cut back in um, and see where we are. So I've got the engine brackets on, done both sides, wasn't too bad. Let's see if we can get in there and show you. You can't really see because it's all black. But anyway, the engine brackets in there, if you can see them there, that rubbish recording. Um, changed the engine brackets. I had to dig out my uh, <laughs> Imperial sockets that I've never used. And let's go and knock on my neighbor's door, see if you've got any Imperial spanners because I haven't got any. I forgot these things are, Imperial, most confusing thing ever, Imperial measurements. Um, we won't go into that. Um, so yeah, pretty simple, unbolt them, bolt the new ones on, bish bash bosh. So what I'm gonna do now, is I might even time lapse this bit, is we're actually gonna stick the bars on that come out here with the controls on. For tonight, I'm gonna leave all the old controls and stuff on. Uh, all this lot, we're gonna leave all that on for now. I just wanna make it look you know, so we get the feel for it. Um, gonna go through all this lot. We'll probably time lapse some of it. 
and we'll make up one side maybe even two and then we'll uh, then we'll look at doing the rest of it but I mean it's what time is it now it's quarter past seven quarter past eight sorry so I'll do it we'll do a bit and then probably leave it tonight and do the rest tomorrow So if you watched that bit of time lapse, you saw all the pegs going together, sort of assembling them. I don't know how long time lapse took, but anyway, both sides, I assembled them. They're both on the bike now. The problem I've got now is I need some Imperial Allen keys, which I haven't got, so I'm gonna have to leave it till another day. I'm gonna have to get some Imperial Allen keys because I've got to take some bits off the bike, but, and the levers are now a bit floppy because there's no rods connected to them, but if you can kind of see there, and that's gonna move about, obviously, because there's no rods on them, they're a bit, a bit floppy. And they'll be like something I think floppy. Um, so yeah, I've got to take the existing gear lever off the bike, that's Imperial. I've got to take that, this foot peg off, that's Imperial. Same the other side, there's a bit more work to do to the other side, because I've got to take the cover off um, to get to the brake stuff you know the things um so yeah that's it for now i shall see you back in a minute but hopefully i'll have some imperial allen keys right it's another couple of days later i've still got the same t-shirt on though it's not been worn since i've not kept it all on that whole time but anyway there are some imperial allen keys i actually got and we had to go and get those so we could get things apart and i've actually been working doing some bits so I'll just give you a quick catch up of where we are. So here we go. The So this is the forward controls all on and complete on this side now. So we can into first gear, you and your boot underneath, and oh make sure it don't slide. And then uh, that's it, yeah. So that to take the old gear lever off there, the gear selector, obviously. Unfortunately, that didn't survive. Unfortunately, trying to get that off, it broke, so we won't tell Alan about that. We'll keep that quiet. Put the new selector on there, put this rod on, connects on to the forward controls. That was a bit of a pain. Didn't fit very well. When you put that on, it actually ended up with the it was actually sort of right up here. You'd, it would have been really awkward to try and do. So change to select the gears. So I actually cut. The, there was loads of thread on 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 this bar. So I've cut about ten mil off either no five mil off either end of the um, of this bar. So it then positioned it down a bit more, and it works. It works quite well. These quite good. These fold up as well. But yeah, we've got that side now is complete. Looks a lot better, I think. Um. So now I'll have a bit of a shifty round of the bike and we'll get the other side connected up and have a look. That's going to be a bit more complicated because it's got the brake um, brake reservoir on there. And yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll move it around, we'll have a quick look. To get the brake pedal connected, the brake, yeah, the brake pedal, we've obviously got a bar that comes out of here and it's going to go into, into here. But to take these off, by the looks of it, I've got to take this cover off. Uh, and I think I might have to undo the exhaust a bit and move that out of the way. So this is going to be a bit more fiddly. Um, so, well, yeah, I'll crack on with it. We'll, like I say, I'm going to take this off. Love a bit of a go. I'll get it somewhere near assembled and we'll cut back in and see where we are and hopefully it won't take too long. Whew, right, that was a bit of a pain. Um, you can see there. So we've got the old foot peg off out of there. Um, so take the exhaust off of there. But to get in to that, there's a nut that holds that on. That got a split pin behind it. I wanted to try and avoid taking, you try and pull this off, you've got to take this exhaust off to do that. So luckily, I've managed to undo that enough I could get in there with a pair of long nose pliers, undo the split pin, pull the split pin out the side there, hold my finger on the nut and spin that off so I could get the 
so we can get the foot peg out. So yeah, that avoided having to take all of that off, which was I didn't really want to do. Anyway, now we'll get this bolted back on, we'll get that back on, and we'll get this connected back up. And we'll see what it looks like in a minute. Right, well, it's done. That actually wasn't too bad. Um, so, that was bolted back on, we've got the bar on, up to the brake pedal there. All works, might need to adjust that, and that will adjust the, if I wind that out a bit, that will adjust that up a bit, but we'll see how it rides. Um, yeah, all in all, wasn't actually too bad, it was just a bit time consuming. Um, yeah, it looked bad, it looked good. I had to sit on it, it's actually a lot nicer to sit on now. Um, let's have a, let's put that there a minute. Let's just see. Don't know if that's gonna catch you anything. We'll try. But yeah. This feels loads better. That's how a Harley should feel now when you're sitting on there. Get your legs out. All we're waiting for now is just some different bars. Yeah, that's the order of some bars. So I think you all have seen it with the bars on already when Alan does the does the video on it. But yeah, it feels much better. But with that, I think all that's left now is to go and take it for a test ride, isn't it? Be rude not to, I think. So I think that'll be in the next episode. So thanks for watching this one. Goodbye. And come back and see on the next episode where I'll go and have my first ride of a Harley on the road. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>